Yo, what's up, dudes? How is it going? We're gonna be playing some more Hearthstone. I got a quest for Paladin or Priest, but let's do Paladin because I got a good Paladin deck. I also do have a Priest deck, though it's not good. <laughs> let's go ahead and just play a bit of Paladin. This is actually a deck somebody used. I don't know who it was, but somebody used it to get to rank 1. Just in general. Not like rank 1, but like rank 1 legend. So, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's a pretty good deck. I'm not entirely sure how to play it yet, but hey, we we're working on that. Also, I just did an arena run last night. I know, I just felt like doing one while waiting for next Ramas. And I actually went 12 and 1. So I think that's gonna, like, put an end to all of my arena endeavors for a while. I think I might actually keep this. Like, this gives me some nice options. I got the Consecration, in, in case he wind tries to swarm me with... I don't know. Like, yeah, druids can do that though. And Harvest Golems and Elder Peacekeepers. And Stim this is, by the way, it's such a nice combo. The Peacekeeper into the Stampeding Kodo. Or the Humility into the Kodo. It's just neat. And the White Grove. Okay. So, he actually didn't get too. Oh, nice. I was gonna toss that out. But he didn't get too lucky right here. Because he. Um, got second. You really want to go first if you're going for a wild growth. Uh, but, you know, he's still doing okay. I'm actually kind of tempted to Peacekeeper that. That's probably a terrible idea. I don't know what to do about this guy, though. Um, if I Peacekeeper it, I get to keep my Knife Juggler alive. Fuck it, we're doing it. I just really want my Knife Juggler to be alive. Though, of course, he could still clear out the board, but, well, so be it. Ah, uh, this was probably a really stupid play. <laughs> yeah, that's what I get for being fancy. Okay, that's fine. So we could just Consecrate. We could also not... I think we're better off not doing that. I think we're better off just chilling for a bit. And we got my Pyromancer's Consecration right here, which is really nice. That's a, l a very, very high damage combo. So, we can't actually do it right now. Which does blow a little. I think we're just gonna... Just gonna chill for a little more. And leave it at that. You know, just... Let him do what he wants to do. Next turn we can really just deal free damage to his board. Cause we also got the Harvest Golems. So we're probably gonna be able to get a lot done clean out everything and then um, go for the Sunwalkers or something like that. This is more of a control paladin, though it's a, uh, it's kind of a mixture between like mid-range and control. I've been playing a lot more aggro than I probably should, but I, I've just been doing with my... Like, I've, look, if you get these cards, that's just kind of what you do, right? Oh, here we go. Oh, man. Okay. So, I think we're just con consecrating. It is no no reason at all to use the Pyromancer. Just go ahead and get rid of all of this and then play another Recruit. Which these, I, I still like these. I think they're so, so sweet. To just always be able to just summon a minion. Oh, I think it's awesome. It's not the most powerful hero power. I actually think Shaman got the best. Shaman or Warlock. But, man, it's still really nice. Oh, cool, Humility. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go ahead and drop a Sunwalker, I think. So this right here is a kill combo. Like, anything we want to kill, just Humility it, Stampeding Kodo it, done. It's pretty simple. And I'm, I don't know if you noticed, but this game has actually been going very much in our favor. We do have... More HP. We got the bigger minion on the field, and it's it's going just fantastically. Like there's not really anything bad happening right now. So hell yeah, let's rock and roll. Oh, he's actually gonna poke through the divine shield. Interesting. I wouldn't have done that. Uh, well, I don't know what he's got in hand. Ragnaros. You see, this is perfect because we can now just use Dakota to kill that. Shoot me. Ah. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna Humility Rag and Kodo him. 
Boom. You see that? Come on, that's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> People always talk the talk about like oh. Paladin is shit because he doesn't have OTK, and I, I guess that's true. But Paladin is shit because he doesn't have um, Stampede and Kodo. No, wait, no, he, because he doesn't have an easy kill, and that's actually no, he does. Like Paladin can get some easy kills. The problem is just that it requires two cards, but you also get a minion, so it's not too bad, right? This worse. It's okay. Oh, this is not too great for us. I think we're just gonna run down in there. Play this on Walker, play this by. And leave it at that. And look at that, I got the golden elven archer. <laughs> I like that. You get that if you max out Druid. So. Yeah. Okay, Raf. He's probably gonna just Raf that for one. Yeah, he will definitely Raf that for one. Draw himself, uh, uh, draw himself another card and run his Ancient of Lore into it. Which is okay. I'm also gonna kill my little one. Yeah, yeah, everything's still just fine. Now we're kind of running low on cards. I would appreciate some, some card draw right here. Hmm. Okay, Defend of Argus. Doesn't really do that much, but we're gonna kill this guy. I think we're just gonna toss this guy down and... Yeah, keep it at that. I don't want to play too much. Like This is already swipe bait and... I could have played the White Pyromancer, for example, but what he could have done is just swipe the White Pyromancer and then... Or, in this case, I like just swipe the Sentient Shield Master. Uh, I kind of want to avoid the situation where it just gets multiple kills with a swipe. Because that card is already so good anyways, it's just... There's no need for us to give him even more. Okay, I think we're gonna run that in here. Gonna heal him once. Because this guy's gonna die anyways. There's no reason to really... Yeah, attack anything else using that. And well, we are looking pretty good right now. We got him at 12. We are totally out of cards. Just entirely out of cards. I really don't know what's going on here. The stack plays some Assure Drake, so... What else does it have? I got some card draw. It doesn't have a crazy amount of it. I actually think it's it's a little low on card draw, but what do I know? But we also have not been having the best cards. Still, uh, we are winning, so... I guess we got that going for us. The Defend of Argus is not good to have right now, though. It doesn't really help us. And... Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, great, I know about Power Master. Well, I guess we're getting rid of that. I'm just gonna toss these two out here. I don't have anything else I can play. And, uh... Well, this is where I would actually need one of my big finishers. Like, I do have Tyrion. That would be nice. I, I'm not sure if I play Ragnaros. I don't actually know, but Ragnaros would also be nice. Why like Sarah? <laughs> My Sarah would be fantastic. I'm pretty sure we don't play that though. Force Roar? Yeah. Uh, okay. That's not gonna kill me. It's gonna deal uh, 10 damage to me though. So that's pretty nasty. On the upside, he used his Force Roar. On the downside, I just got an Acolyte of Pain, which does absolutely nothing. I'm telling you, this deck actually plays some card draw, but it just didn't get it, and now I'm just kind of in a shitty situation. <laughs> Balls. On the upside, he is running out of cards. Look at that. Oh yeah, he's going for the kill. I'm dead. Oh, great, the Peacekeeper. All of these cards I needed earlier. Yeah, that's game. He's actually playing two roars. Oh, I guess that's okay. Yeah, my Force Roar deck actually plays Savage Roar and Force of Nature twice, but most decks with, with Force Roar just play the the war twice because they don't... They usually you don't get to pull off the combo twice, but the thing is, Force of Nature is a card that's great for just being like used for stuff. It got so many uses. Anyways, uh, let me actually just go ahead and show you the deck list. Also, so I can take another look at it myself. You see, I got Lay on the hands. I do have that. 
I actually played both of my sun walk. Tyrion would have been nice. I got Hammer of Wrath. Uh, I got Acolyte of Pain right here. That's actually it. That's not that much. And of course, two Assured Rakes. Yeah, it's just kind of blows that I didn't get any of it. You know? Like some. Uh, but some would have been nice. But let's go ahead and give this another shot. Let's go ahead and give this another shot. Oh, do you want to do something different? Okay, so this is a deck. Let's, let's do this in casual. This is a deck. Bob also messaged me, right? I was like, hey, let's play some gimmick decks. I was like, okay, let's play some gimmick decks. So I tossed together two really shitty gimmick decks. And started playing against him. Now, Bob is a douchebag because he just straight up brought Handlock. <laughs> like, his shitty version of Handlock. And also just, I think, like, just a regular aggro warrior. And I was like, Bob, this is not, this is, this is, this is not the gimmicks. And he's like, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> but anyways, this is my, my really terrible paladin, which is just completely awful. Now, it doesn't look like that right now, does it? But this is also, like, we don't actually want to keep any of this. You're gonna see why this deck is just so terrible, but it's really funny. Oh shit, did I select the wrong deck? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, man. So these two, like, I actually, I just kind of ran out of cards that do what I want them to do. Oh, oh no, we're playing against aggro. Well, isn't that just fun? Let's just toss out the young priestess. Let's just do it. Deal with that, bitch. Ah. <sighs> So, the idea of this deck is to heal. <laughs> it's really dumb. It's just uh, got all of the healing cards. Like, all of them. It's so, so bad. It is so bad. Because, right now, as you can see, there's nothing to heal. I have not taken damage. <laughs> so, if I wanted to use the, the Earthen Ring Farsi, it would do nothing. And now than that, it got, like, just some... Yeah... Like issue with Rake and all the Peacekeeper. Because there's only so much like healing stuff. What is he doing? Oh man, are we playing against another gimmick deck? Great. Another Peacekeeper. Okay, let's just go ahead and take a bit of damage. No! <laughs> no! My Silverhand recruit. Why would you do that? Oh well. Oh wait. This guy actually. Wow. Yeah, okay then. Okay, buddy, I see where we're going. Huh. Hmm. You know what, I'm just gonna toss out the Drake. Just gonna toss out the Drake. Can never have enough of those. Okay, so we are starting to take damage now. That's great. Because the entire idea of this deck is to heal. <laughs> That's it. We've got... We could probably heal, I, I have no idea how much, but it's a shitload of HP. There's just, this deck got too much HP. Look at him, he's trying to beat me down. Dude, that won't happen. That is not what's going to happen here. I'm so sorry to tell you. I am so sorry to tell you. Oh no. Okay. So he's probably gonna kill that, but we got our, we got our healer, the Dark Scale healer out. That's fine. Oh shit, I could have just demolished that. Oh, I, I, wait, not demolish it, but Black Knight. We can, actually, no, I couldn't. I right, didn't have the mana. Okay. But we probably will still be able to do that. Yeah. Okay, you see, I'm not worried about this. Because I got so much heal going that unless he kills me next turn, I'm fine. Unless he kills me next turn, I'm fine. Also, Black Knight is just too amazing. So we're probably gonna peacekeeper it and just start healing. <laughs> That's how this deck works. It's really silly. Oh no, we should have kept kept the black knight. Oh, what a shame. Okay. So we got to peacekeeper something. Let's go ahead and peacekeeper you. Um Yeah, let's, let's be efficient with our mana. Let's just be efficient with our mana. So we are back at 21 HP. The entire idea of this deck is to just outlast you. The problem with this deck is that that doesn't have a way to kill you. It, it just doesn't. I've got, I've got Guardians of Kings, I suppose, but that's really it. Other than that, 
not that much going on. Man, I really should have kept that Bla Black Knight. Oh, nice, we got uh, our own Tyrion. I think we're just gonna, like, peace kick our heads, though. Fuck off. You're not doing that. <laughs> oh, man. Let's, let's get another Drake out there. Can never have enough of those. Do we hit that? Uh, I don't see a reason why I would. So, that Tyrion is actually an issue because Tyrion always is. But that's okay. Oh, shit. Another? Yeah. Kind of. I kind of expected that, but that's okay. Just, like, look at this. It does, doesn't do any damage. Whatever. And you know what? That I, like, I'm not worried. It's fine. It's, it's fine. <laughs> He's dealt three damage so far. <laughs> this deck is so stupid. This is just... The problem is you will never win, because it's not... It's just not good. Okay. So he's playing a lot of little guys. We're still really lucky to have this this dude because he's just super strong. Um But we could deal fifteen damage to his face right now. Let's just do it. Take that. <laughs> oh, I love Alex Strasser. That's such a stupid card. Did you see that? That was just like, yeah, let's play an 8-8 eight, eight and also deal 15 burst. I mean, why not? No, my young priestess. Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I guess he kind of got lucky there. So is he gonna go for this? I don't really want to remove the Divine Shield because once I do, he's gonna run it into Alexstrasza. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you get the idea. Oh, okay, we are removing the Divine Shield. Take it. Ah, fuck it, let's heal up some more. Which one do we hit? Let's actually hit this guy. That's gonna deny him some more sort of justice charges. And the funny thing is, this is 5 attack, but he needs 6 damage. Also, and this is even greater than that, he already used both Consecrates. <laughs> Oh, Pega. I've not seen that guy for a while. Okay. So I don't think he clean out, I can clean out my board. It's far too strong for that. Um. Wow. That is surprising. I did not think he was going to do that, but okay. So do we kill Pega? Um. Uh, first of all, I think we heal. <laughs> And we just keep doing that forever. <laughs> and then... Yeah, you know what? I like killing Pega. Let's just not even give him the option of drawing cards. Let's just not do that. Let's just not do that. And, well, as you can see, we are now at 28 HP. He is at 8. This is... We are actually winning. I cannot believe this. This is such a stupid day. <laughs> But you know, I kind of like the idea. This might be good if you build it into something that's actually good. And not what it is right now. Okay. So we got equality. Uh, we could just gamble. Oh fuck it, let's do it. We got a 25% chance to win. And we got a 50% chance to waste a shot. Boom, baby! <laughs> oh, man, that was awesome. Okay. That is the best deck. That is the best deck. Let's do this again. Okay. Also, we're gonna have 1,400 gold after this. I actually plan on buying the entire next Ramos expansion only with gold. I don't want to spend any money on that. I have been saving up gold for that. That's why I did arena. I actually got super lucky in the arena because after, like, as I won it, I literally got like 500 gold. That was my victory. 500 gold and a booster. I was fearing it was gonna be two boosters or something. I don't, don't really need boosters right now. I've got all the cards I want. I don't have all the cards in the game. Not even close to that, but I do have all of the cards I want to have, so I'm not worried.
Ah, uh, well, that's a little steady. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with two of those. That seems slightly overkill. And well, so this is actually the problem. All right, this is now a mage. Uh, it might be aggro mage. So this is casuals, or people sometimes just play stupid shit. Okay, it's aggro mage. It's definitely aggro mage. Uh, but I'll actually go ahead and just do this. But the thing is, like, we need to take damage. Like, as we start taking damage, we just heal that damage, and that's the entire plan. That's it. There's nothing else. Nothing else. Okay. Mm. Yep, just gonna summon a number. Not to worry about it. Next thing we can choose over that. If he enrages it, I think I'm just gonna peacekeep it. If he somehow buffs it, I'm gonna big game hunt it. We should be okay. Best case scenario, he just plays... Uh, nothing, actually. Whatever, he just shoots my 1-1 one, one and hits me. That's best case scenario. Anything else is just... Just makes it a little more difficult. Worst case scenario would be like... Oh, yeah, here we go. Well, if you played mirror image or something. Okay, now let's go ahead and do this. So, I actually think there's some kind of value to a deck like this. A couch like the Dark Sky Healer, of course, are just useless. Like, this does nothing. <laughs> this is just so bad. <laughs> Such a terrible card. But other than that... You know, that's actually... I kind of like the idea. So I think I'm gonna Peacekeeper that... That guy. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna... Not gonna run my weapon into it yet. Because I don't know what's gonna be the follow-up. So... <sighs> there are things that could happen right here. For example, let's just go ahead and play the mind game. He could play uh, Mana Verb. He could play... What the fuck was that? Okay, he could play Mana Worm, he could play the Owl, he could play Mirror Image and like another Mirror Image. And the Owl to silence the Yeti. You know, it would be annoying. Okay, I think we're gonna run that in here. Just consecrate. And get rid of it. The problem is we're gonna get stay si um, frozen for next turn as well. So we won't be able to use our true silver champion. Which is actually kind of annoying. So I'm not sure what kind of deck this is. This is... I don't think this is an aggro mage. He might just be, like, playing a little bit of a boost-heavy... Oh, it's an Enrage Mage? Is that a thing? People play that? Um... Well, okay. Let's just kill that, then. I'm playing a Shoe Drake. But... It, it... I don't know, it's not that scary. It just doesn't seem to do anything. I don't even know what he could do right here. Okay, I... I hmm. He hasn't even dealt enough damage to me yet to be, like, scary. No, why would you hit that? Hit me! Oh, that's disappointing. Okay, we're totally running that in there. Um... I guess I could play a Guardian of Kings. I could also just lay on hands and get some cards, but... Fuck it, let's, let's, just, let's just play the Guardian of Kings. Yeah. Let's just do that. Don't really see a problem there. We lost out on 1 HP, but... Pfft, whatever. That's why I wanted him to shoot me, because I was gonna run that I should drag into his I should drag anyways. So... I didn't really see the point of that. Let the pain speak to me. Okay. Oh, nice inequality. I'm kind of tempted to do that. I don't know. I don't know. I'll also go about this in a little bit of a different way. Um, 
They could they could do this. Then Dark Scale Healer. I just really want to use the Dark Scale Healer. I don't know why. It's such a bad card, but that's why I want to use it. <laughs> but well, I don't know. Just doesn't seem like Yeah, it's a slow deck, obviously. Like I'm just waiting for him to pyroblast me and shit. <sighs> Play Ragnors. I don't know. I don't know. So I actually think like this might have some merit. Like just a little bit of it. And some cards that seem a little bit silly, like Dark Sky Hero and Voodoo Doctor. Just not very good. But if you replace those with like some humilities and then some Peeding Godos or something, it could really create some sort of control deck. I don't know. It would still be pretty bad, but you get the idea. So I'm guessing he's gonna ping that. Because he wants to get the card draw. Which does make sense, but... I could get two cards right here. You could just ping that and run it into my Guardian of Kings. Well, it seems like he wants to kill the Guardian, though. That makes sense, too, right? I totally get it, but... Oh, wait. Oh. Okay. Well, fuck you, then. I'm healing that guy. <laughs> I'm totally healing that Guardian of Kings. Oh, oh, you better believe that I'm healing that Guardian of Kings. Oh, my God. Yeah, you better believe I'm healing that guy too. <laughs> be ready. <laughs> you better be prepared. <gasps> We've got all of the heals. We will never die. <laughs> uh, so how is this deck looking? <laughs> like this is actually a, this is actually a deck where I tend to be worried about decking them out since there's just <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh man. Oh no, my Guardian of Kings. And I just healed him too. Well, uh, that's actually not too bad. I made him use a Polymorph. And I've got Hurigan. I've got Ragnaros. I even got Vicera. So why not? He yes, hit me. No. <laughs> He's supposed to hit me. Oh. <sighs> so, do I just heal myself for free? And get the card draw or do I not? I really do not want to do that. That seems like such a waste. Let's just let's just not do that. Look, I've got all the time in the world. This is fine. We can play all day. <laughs> if that's what you want to do, this deck also needs some faceless manipulators. But if that's what you want to do, we can do this all day. It is fine. I should rake. Okay, I can deal with that. I'm not worried about it. Oh sweet, we can uh You know actually I'm kind of I'm kinda of fond of the idea of just using a black knight to kill that. So I can get rid of the mana worm because fuck mana worms. Hate those. Such an annoying card. So annoying. Okay, now just wash my face, just pyroblast me or something, please. Please. Fireball. Well, he's used all of his bursts on my minions. Like, how do you think you're gonna kill me now? That's that's like in se a serious issue, dude. You need to have a way to kill me. You're totally running out of ways to kill me. Um, do we peacekeeper this guy? We could just do that. I really think I'm just gonna play the, the Guardian of Kings. I don't believe Peacekeepering does make any difference. So, let's just not do that. And we just, you know, it's just, that's just kind of the way of it. We just could have chill here <laughs> forever. I could have equalityed. I actually, not, I'm not too sure if I should have. Okay, now we're polymorph. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna kill both. 
Is he? Yeah, it seems like it. We might just equality quality right here. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. And just freaking peacekeeper this guy while we add it. And boom. And we're back in control. And we still have not taken any damage at all. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Nobody will ever die right here. This is not getting us anywhere. Just pyroblast me, please. I want to use my lay on hands. This has to be the most frustrating deck to play against. Like the number one most frustrating deck. <laughs> Just like, no! <laughs> Why is he not taking any damage? Why is this not getting us anywhere? <laughs> oh man. So what's your plan? Yeah, I think that equality was the right play. It's probably gonna fireball down. So you could just uh oh hello there. But that's a that's a that's a problem actually. That guy is an issue. Like seriously. Though issue has been taken care of. First of all, it's Garrett and DL9 damage to you. Because that extras is ridiculous. And then do this and just heal this guy because fuck you, I guess. Or it just hit me with this. Hit me with the ball of his dog, I'm gonna lay on hands and that's fine. <laughs> I could even lay on hands on Alexstrasza if I wanted to. By the way, Alexstrasza is in this deck because first of all it allows me to actually get kills. Since I don't have any other way of doing that. Also she's in here because I get to um, heal myself. Worst case scenario. If I want to I can just heal myself even more. No, you need to attack Alex Strauss. Uh, well, no, not Alex Strauss, I'm me. Ah, oh, this is not getting us anywhere. Let's just heal Alex Strauss, I guess. I don't want him to get an easy kill on her. This this is why the Bull of his Ogre is so good, by the way. You, can, you cannot big game Hunter him. I, I got nothing. I, I cannot fight him right now. I need to somehow deal 4 damage. Which is difficult as a paladin. Uh, come on, buddy. Let's do this. You got one card. Can't be that difficult. Actually, it's difficult. He needs to kill Alex Drasa, probably. Yeah. And an Armani Berserker. So are you gonna start dealing damage to me now? <laughs> oh nice, we got a young priestess. Let's do this. You know this might not have been too smart to actually play those two. Because he can just um, fireball the young priestess and then hit the two a uh, one two, buffing up his dude. <laughs> and now he's got a five two, and I just gave it to him. That's actually a very bad play. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. You know what? Fuck off. You're not having enrage. <laughs> oh my god. I still got lay on hands. I still got two on and Ragnaros. And he has used all of his removal. All of it. He's got nothing left. <laughs> nothing. That's a second frostbolt. He used both fireballs. He might have a pyroblast somewhere, but that's not enough. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually gonna be able to heal myself now. Yeah, let's do this. I I really want to know when it when he gets to the point. Like when is he gonna be at the point where he's just like no? I have had enough. This is... We don't need any more of it. This is okay. This is just insulting now. Let's just not have this happen. Like he has to get to that point eventually, right? Okay, now this is actually a slight issue. Consecrate. Uh, that's a shame. Um, Yeah, I think I'm still gonna consecrate this. 
I just play a Blood Knight. I don't even have Divine Shield. I just got this in here because I like him. And, oh my god, we almost won. <laughs> also, my last two cards are totally Tyrion on that Ragnaros. That is so silly. Mana Worm. Yeah, this is just... We, we won. He's out of cards. He's got nothing. We even we got more here. <laughs> Though, actually, the Lay on Hands is not gonna be that amazing. Because I will... I will just completely murder myself with that. Okay, deal with this. Boom, baby. Lay on hands is gonna be not that great because I will heal 8 HP, but I will also draw 3 cards, which will just... I Actually, I cannot use lay on hands at this point. It's just gonna kill me. Which is really silly if you think about it. Oh my god. He had a defender of Argus left. Oh shit, that's actually really bad. No, 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 it's, it's fine. It's fine. We got this, people. It's all... All just fine. Going to Ragnaros right here. So, we've got uh, two choices right here. Either we win, or we win. Because if he shoots the dude, we win. If he shoots him, we also win. <laughs> oh my god. This is so, so stupid. I just, I feel so sorry for this guy, too. He tried so hard. <laughs> this is just such a bad manner deck. Like, this is an insulting deck, and it's hilarious. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and see you tomorrow.